That's even worse, bro. Come on, too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, top eight begins. Let's see it. Right off the start, Remora is able to get the tech. And this is going to be, again, it's going to be LT on the side facing off using that Magneto. We've seen him switch to this team quite a lot. Yeah, and uh, while I do respect uh, that LT is a living legend, he's not quite living legend. Uh, but uh, right now, eating a hit, going into the Sagenu from Remora's side. Trying to keep the zero alive, but Tasha's into the Shockwave, won't be able to do anything about that. Doom takes some damage on him and coming. He's the Instructor. Locked down in the right way. Check out the Plasma, wherever he can. Find that pressure right now, and we see an office broad tag from Remora that's going to be detrimental. Living Legend's definitely going to burn the bar if need be, and just play the long game against this Dr. Doom. Yep, going into the gravity squeeze there. Don't even have to worry about it. Yeah, baby. Dude, coming through. Holy moly, with the Let's Go Remora tip 50? Is that what I saw? Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Jumping S, missing out twice in a row. Gets the hit, pops the X. Good recognition of where the beam was going to happen and making that thing work. Oh, yep, and ends up doing the percolation station on LT, going for the cross up, ends up staying on the same side. Phoenix has to deal with this, but here comes the Phoenix Inferno, and that's gonna be it from the X Factor. Don't even have to worry about the Inferno. Fully invincible, working out in the end. Beautiful stuff. Remora unfortunately saw a little too much opportunity to go for the kill there and forgot that Phoenix has a super on incoming along with X Factor. <laughs> Eternal Yoshi, coming through 27 months. Thank you. Let's get the air throw confirmed there. Should have that polished as an esteemed zero Doom Virgil player. Gets the missiles extension. And we are going to go through the lightning loops on the Magneto to kill him off instead of snapping in the Phoenix. Yeah, if you get the hit early enough, killing through generally feels like the most correct option. But uh, with this starter here, it's going to go. That is not what we wanted to see at all. Unfortunate execution error on that one. Yeah, this could actually pay back to bite him in the butt now. Oh, we are going to see the immediate snap into Phoenix now. Medium cross up lightning there onto the missiles. Gets the buster confirmed into the dive kick. Rapid slash will help seal a deal with the pizza cutter. And Dr. Doom is back on his lonesome on the other side this time. Going into the Photon Array, will not X-Factor, is able to block safe, and gets the X-Factor throw! Local Weatherman, coming through 27 months as well, thank you. LT, SDP, on its way, goes for the Butter Gun, tries to look for the cross up there on the Heavy Foot that I do believe. As Shakeweight heard the call, said Remora needs support, five gifted tier one, bro, thank you. <laughs> Remora is lucky that LT was not aware of that. Teleport into the corner. You can actually throw Virgil out of swords if he teleports on you in the corner. Initially. There you go. There's the finish. Good stuff to Remora. Making it one to one now. And yeah, for everybody in the chat, uh, this is not an uncommon pick from LT right now. He's been playing it consistently uh, into certain matchups, it seems. I'm not sure if it's something that he's actually working on as a counter pick or if he's just playing it because it's fun to play. But either way, uh, he is definitely super real with the team. He's been taking games off of a lot of strong players. Yeah, as we've said in multiple tournaments, I mean, LT is like one of the most fundamentally balanced players out there. He knows how to turn this, the the aggression switch on and off, and he can out neutral you any day of the week. And he's doing it with multiple teams. As Hurricane Kitten comes through with the gifted sub, thank you very, very much. Nice jab. Recognition of the situation to be able to slide up. It's not too hard of a confirm. It's just having the presence of mind to be ready for it is the difficult part. It's really good from LT, man. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, Zyla oh, is definitely Taylor. correct. He is uh, he has won a TNS playing only this team. You know, the craziest part is that I actually saw him playing this team at Joey D's house uh, weekend of Frosties mm. on stick. And he looked just as clean. Yeah, I feel like people who start pad as we almost get the happy birthday to kill both. Nice tag. Hurricane Kitten with another gifted sub, this time to the onion. Thank you. So I was just going to say, I feel like people who play on stick, uh, on pad, excuse me, usually have the easiest transition to other controllers. Maybe I'm just m making that up, but it just, that's what it feels like when I watch people switch controllers. Yeah, uh, honestly, like, when, uh, Punisher is a person I always think of transitioning from pad, but uh, when when they switched to the hitbox, it was incredible to see what they were doing with Modoc when they got it under control. Yeah. <laughs> Zigzagrius, thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate you coming through for the first time. Good good on you catching it live. LT, two games over a more right now, two to one. Fortunately, Remora was looking good there with the Dark Virgil, but had to pop X-Factor too early, and LT was able to time out a third of it with Magneto before finally getting his tag. And that was enough for LT to just be able to go crazy with Dark Phoenix at the end. Check the legs of the crouching medium. Honestly, especially because you got the hit right away, I think this is a kill-in-order type of situation. You gotta be confident in your incomings here on these next two characters, but you got it. Yeah, stick to the game plan. Whenever you get the, the hit less than two bars, it doesn't hurt to just uh, kill and order. I like to like snap into Phoenix there. I kind of like that oh, uh, when it comes to Doom being in the middle as opposed to Morgan. Yeah. Because it, it's just a lot less terrifying in that order. I definitely agree. Plus, Doom is pretty susceptible to your incomings. I feel like he has to make some kind of action before he's frightening. His actual straight-up incoming just isn't. So, uh, right. you're not too worried about foot dive. Uh, if he can get a dash up, then maybe you're worried a little bit, but then he's committed to X-Factor. There's a lot of the uh, I know that he knows type of stuff as LT gets a throw right off the start and looks oh. for the reset, but Remorse so ready. Right in. Playing the long game right now. Dashes under the missiles, gets away from them. Gets sniped by the buster, but no confirm. Nice assist call from LT. Up, da uh, up forward dashing so that they end up falling into a state where they can block, and the plasma beam covers it for them. I think both characters getting a lot of damage, which is a lot of meter. Good timing on the push block there. And interesting releases of busters from Remora. Actually got him completely push blocked out. Oh, LT tried to go for the air throw there on, on the uh, H teleport, I think. Dodge in the platform. Good ladies in a row. Zero goes for the tag. Okay, so he's gonna try and save him for a little bit longer. Doom gonna engage in a little plasma warfare. Trying to get the butter gun snipe from there was not properly aligned at the full screen situation. And now LT's crossed the four bar mark. Unless we see, uh, so Zero is capable of doing the uh, the dash double TAC setups along with the X-Factor TAC setup. But I think LT is a player that is going to be cognizant of when Remora will attempt those. Mm. And, oh no, missed the tri-dash. Oh, and the tech butter gun afterwards had the right situational awareness, but it doesn't matter because LT gets the better of it. Comes in with the falling pizza cutter, gets the hit on Dr. Doom. Phoenix. Situational awareness, be damned. <laughs> right. We're just gonna go into La Biblioteca. They got Doctor Doom. Phoenix comes in five bars. 
So Gemi runs out just in time, and that I don't even know what side that hits on. They don't side that hits. Yeah, either way, Virgil to have three bars built up now. Goes for the X, gets the trade. Interesting trade that puts you in a pretty compromised spot here. We're going for the overdrive over and over. Teleport in the end to the same side. And that'll do it. LT is going to take it three to two. Yeah, Monday said exactly what I was thinking in chat. Uh, Lucas, the local Smash Geo, running tournaments in a Publix. If you know, you know. Shout out to the GOAT. You got to remember. <laughs> We're actually finally getting Publixes up, to, uh, up here in Louisville. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, but uh, that's not what's open right now. What's open is this other side of Winter Semis as we're seeing Yoli versus Tony Killa. Oh my god. Off the rip. Helmbreaker on the way down. Pressure in response. Yoli with the back dash smart. He does manage to get the confirm on Virgil, even though eating that dimension slash. Going to be killing here. Won't even need the uh, actual Sagenmu lightning loops to do anything about it. Proper push block on that Thunder Knuckle cancel. The activation goes for the heavy lightning. Odd sequence, push blocks himself out of the unblockable, still gets hit, but manages to get back on his feet on a drop combo from Yuli. Oh, double lightning, manages to get the confirm, courtesy of the Sagenmu. Uh, won't be able to get the meter necessary, but might not even need it. Yep, won't even need it. Yep, DP oh. trade, absolutely. I want to say that DP is four frames, so it's extremely fast. It's not Shadow Blade fast, which the, the fact that we even have three frame DPs in this game is a joke. But uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be able to challenge Maxim Wesker at that situation. Oh my god, and dropped lightning loops turn into a very odd mix up. Can't quite get himself to safety. Yuli, after what fe that felt like a very back and forth brawl, Yuli's health total told a very different story. He was super stable at the end of that. For sure. Fusion medium light. Five frames, arithmetic. Thank you. My goat. Ah, thank you. Somebody in chat always knows the frame data. I'm never afraid to spit numbers because somebody will correct me. I'll say it with my chest and still be wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> All day. Frame, more frame data than I than I remember. <laughs> Activate the swords and a good follow-up. Takes the kill on zero. Oh, Tempest gets both and actually pushed Wesker into the corner. If he had the presence of mind, he probably could have gotten an X-Factor confirmed for both of those. Uh, Monday, you're one of those this field plus kind of guys. You describe things as big punish. I respect that. <laughs> I don't understand how people could play like that, but I, I respect it. Nice X Factor on the Helmbreaker. I just used the frame data confirm to confirm my feelings. <laughs> Chuck the round trip gets punished for it on the teleport. Tony Killa, one hit away, four and a half bars. Oh, it didn't get the air throw there on the whip <gasps> button, but it got the teleport. There you go. So even the set count up now. Tony, you got to remember it. The X-Factor. I hate that he stands perfectly still at the beginning of the round, too. Because I'm always like, is there a parsec? No. And then he launches, and you're like, wait. <laughs> He's playing possum, dude. Going into the lightning loops here. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's such a jump scare. <laughs> oh, my back and back. The last hit of the rapid slash it says. Oh, just barely found its mark. And that'll be enough for Z Viper to die as well, assuming we have a completed combo. Yuli usually doesn't drop loops, but he did drop one this set already, which is, again, not something you see as often from him. I'm going to be dropping it on the player two side, though. Wesker coming in and ends up eating the pizza cutter this time. Tony Killa tried to do the teleport out once again from the looks of it. And that's going to allow Yuli to go up to match point. 
Damn. A level three in the perfect Fire, to seal it. Wins. And as you've said, two to one match point to Yuli. Straight back in. We're going to teleport right away. Assist ball maybe going to be coming. Instead commits to the super. That was intentional from game one, but this time actually elected to burn the X Factor, getting the double OTG. Oh, and drops the combo though. Another one? I mean, I like the tag to save zero. It's a little unfortunate that Virgil had to take the damage for it, but especially because you have your own X Factor intact, this is really good for Yuli here. Nice forced reset. Goes into the, uh, teleports into the corner while calling you a jam session. It's a clean hit on Tony and can afford to really just uh, take those risk meterless resets uh, while Tony doesn't have access to X Factor anymore. DPS extension, misses the super jump, those that can't quite, quite get high enough for what he needs. It doesn't matter, he's able to get underneath and the swords just do all the work for you, the anti -air. Viper back into the corner, gonna be going into this lightning. Oh, never mind, we're gonna drop the OTG. Buster into the Segenmu though, and that's, you know, a baby confirm at that point. Okay, I mean, zero dies for it. And Dante might, nope, very close though. Oh, gunshot away. See two gunshot chips and Maxim Wesker is not gonna do it. Oh, I thought it was going to. Spending that bar for DT is such a, I am not sure. Oh, never mind. Yuli is sure. I was a little nervous about the DT. But in the end, Yuli finds a way to make it work. That was a scary way to spend a bar, because if Tony hits Dante with anything there, I feel like he's got a really good advantage. At least uh, yeah. at least some amount of priority coming in. Dealing on the day may be matchup dependent. Uh, it's definitely been a combination of the two, but uh, it is gonna be the zero to come up here. It's, I think that's definitely the better choice into this team, uh, in, into almost all teams, but you know, there, there's, there's merit in the beam, right? Yeah, the, the beam assist can be very helpful for Magneto just to establish, but, uh, you know, zero is zero. Um, or I, I feel like any situation where you're facing down a Morgan, you probably want to show up with the zero just because Iron Man, he's going to be stubby one way or another, even with drones behind him. Ooh, rising jump H there. Maybe it was just looking to preemptively initiate or tech a throw, but either way, that's still going to be the death of the Phoenix. Does have to burn the bar for the Magnetic Tempest, but uh, Phoenix goes down one way or another, and that's all we're happy to see. And you can tell Joker is just an MVC1 and 2 player just by taking advantage of that DP assist, uh, like an old school player, like playing MSP. Goes into the level three here. Love to see it on Morgan, keep it simple. Damn, and then right off of that, I mean, Zero is able to come in and uh, off of the advantage that was able to be ground out by Magneto pretty easily secure the finish off of that one. 99 second throw on the Chun-Li. We're definitely going to be seeing an immediate snap as soon as we get the corner carry here. Like I said, especially because of the throw, the scaling on the damage, not quite where it needs to be. It's going to set up the snap in the corner here looks for the dash gets hit by the drones and a perfect confirm from joker you know with a little pizzazz just just for the fans oh and eccentric was not ready for that body hop or sorry the the corpse swap, whatever we call it now <laughs> right so much from the gravitation there you go still gets the pick up into the loops all up to chun lee i mean not something you would normally think of as a traditional anchor, but like does have some stuff in X Factor 3. It's just difficult to access against Zero. He's so hard to catch. Yeah, and Chun Li having to chase down someone is not the idea of a good time for a Chun Li player. Running in with the spinning bird kicks as Eccentric's X Factor is almost ran out, and now the Segenmu will capitalize. Okay. Oh my God, that was the longest medium teleport. Ah, uh, 
god, that was such a cute combo too. You see, he went for early H lightning, and then as he falls, he goes for a very light, very low to the ground medium to be able to pick it up. <laughs> Something about that combo was extremely satisfying to watch. And then the way to end it with the uh, side switch into the uh, Rakoha in the middle of the screen, courtesy yeah. of the <laughs> Does that get the confirm off the Reunion there? Falls into the EX spinning bird kick. This could be an opportunity for Eccentric to turn things around. A heavy odd trade. Spinning bird kick that high in the air. Not going to be able to find much. Oh, the heavy hyper grab. Oh my god. Magneto's super jump medium is a war crime. It is. We think about so many of Magneto's buttons, and that one doesn't get talked about enough. I agree. I 100% agree. That is a hell of a button. It's it's also Magneto's go-to button as like a air push block fall down button because it also hits behind him like further back than any of his other buttons. Like if you if you watch Ray Ray, that's like his signature move is to just fall with medium. Oh, with the mag blast and the connection, that will be the end of that. Joker with a crazy amount of momentum. Unfortunately, gonna have to send his uh, his countrymen home in a three to zero. We are gonna see the triple arrow assist here. I like I, I definitely like to see that uh, blockers traditional stuff helping deal with this whole thing it's definitely interesting because uh when you really think about it hawkeye doesn't bring that much to the table in terms of the team comp there's more just comfortability of play for blocker because uh he does a really good job with the character and always has obviously having an evo title is uh <laughs> is a pretty good way to show results with a character regardless of their their overall synergy with your team yeah, and TJ trying to follow in the footsteps of another Evo champ, but uh, definitely has to find a way to close the gap. Again, Zero without getting hit by the pizza cutter, and Zero is definitely going to get the skill. Doesn't even have to go into once again. Going to land in time, not going to get punished by the buster. Uses the flight to be able to escape. Goes for the super, not quite going to be able to hit zero. And good on Flocker to swing earlier there. I mean, the later you wait, a lot of people get hit by that last little pop. That hitbox is going to get a tiny bit bigger. That happens so much. For sure. Oh, unfortunately, ends up dropping it. And that's another problem with this matchup is that zero can just crouch under Lariat Assist all day. Go into the traditional magic series. Doesn't have to worry about extending the hurt box at all up into the arms of our Mayor of Earth as he tries to go for a punch super. Popping the X Factor, stay safe. Okay, I mean, fireballs continue. Keep it low, keep it slow. Play it as lame as you need to. No chance really here for TJ. And we might just see a DC in the swords potentially once the uh, X Factor runs out here to guarantee the chip. But instead, just a step backwards into level three buster. Uh, TJ had to force a super jump. You got to brute force something, but. Arrow beating out the drones before the first one can even get across the screen. That is nine low durability points very fast. Oh, great assist call from Flocker there. Calling it delayed. Zero ended up eating the standing heavy, but Triple Arrow was there to save him from any confirm. Oh, try to hop forward, look for something. Find the connection. Team Super for the damage on Virgil. The fireball actually hits, which actually interrupts Hulk. Walker gets the better of it and some extra damage on Sentinel. Hyper Sentinel Force did do a lot of damage to Virgil, but that's probably not going to mean anything as Zero has control of the screen, going to be able to take advantage of this as long as possible. And Virgil's already almost back at full health. Made it out the crouching medium there. That was just beautiful. <laughs> oh, no. On the X Factor, he's able to go for Launcher to actually interrupt any of the weird stuff that TJ was going to look for there. Walker with another great pickup, and with this kill, should pretty much secure the second game already. All right. TJ running out of X Factor. Sentinel coming in. Has an opportunity to hard drive, but that would not be ideal. Oh, uh, tries to punch down on the... Uh, projectile but unfortunately did not reach it in time and ends up getting hit by it confirming into his death 
clock are going up on a match point. Uh, TJ actually has the Hagar on point now. Interested to see what we think we're going to be able to get with this one because the only problem with this, because I do like Hagar as a point character sometimes. I mean, we see players like Kiddo uh, do really well with it. You have set yourself up to potentially have Hulk as the anchor right off the rip. So you, you have you have placed your team in a poor order for your opponent. Very much so. Hagar, uh, I mean, it, it probably is more of an ideal point matchup here. But like you said, it's 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 just doubling down on the situation where if you if you lose Hagar early, then the matchups are just going to get worse and cascade into a more unwinnable matchup. Yeah, and now you don't really have a safe way to DHC here. Uh, Tsunami is an okay start. I thought he was going to build a super jump over there. That's why I was committing to him maybe getting punished. I think the impact punch there is to try to soak up the projectiles with some armor. Team Super again. Panic Team Super. Oh, gets the cross up though. Could wow. be a chance. Right, get blocks ridiculous in that spot. Clap gets push blocked though. And now back to neutral. Not what you want to see. Oh, he's hit. No opportunity to cancel there. Stay safe. And the recovery is right in the Spiral Swords general area. And that's going to be it for this pull because Blocker is not going to drop this. I appreciate the confidence you had in that one. I mean, oh. didn't drop it. Just underestimated, uh, or sorry, overestimated how much damage that was. Oh, catches the low. Now, all of a sudden, I mean, Hawkeye has X Factor and has a Gimlet. But if Holt can get this hit immediately. Oh, gets the cross up. Oh, but we're out of the corner. Up DAC does it, gets the side switch necessary to go back into the corner, into the Plasma Storm, into the Gamma Crush, and TJ ends up on the board, upsetting Dude. everyone's expectations. Wow, and switches back to Hulk on point. Got the trade with the Lariat there. Gamma Charge almost goes the distance. Raw S confirm on the zeros can be a. I, I I feel like Hulk players just like have the most like euphoric feeling in their brains whenever they combo with zero players. Oh, I feel like I feel that same feeling too. But unfortunately, I feel like that also is probably pretty similar to how Virgil players feel <laughs> when Helmbreaker gets two. Absolutely, going into the situation. And Sentinel is coming in with Virgil's back to the corner. So if he ever baits out a hard drive, he's going to end up sending himself back into the corner for a free punish. Spiral Swords is going to last long enough. It's the punish, but unfortunately, Sentinel techs out because the Spiral Swords hit weird. I love that you woke up coming to armor. That was that didn't combo. Rising Sun hit him just raw. That was... That was the first two hits of the combo, dude. <laughs> We're uh, getting into the match. Joker is going to stick to the Mag Zero Sentinel. Shout out to the Pony. Uh, this Mag Zero cell is always so uh, so fun to watch with Joker and Pony. Nah, don't feel bad for production. They get what they deserve. Shout out to Lucas, Minty, Max, everybody in between. Everybody that works on the production team. <laughs> okay, so, you know, just try wow! Actually threads the needle with a mag blast. Drones kind of reset the situation in an odd way. Remora ends up winning the scramble somehow. Two clean hits from Joker turns into a Remora hit. Yeah, Ramora manages to get the hit. This is going to be it for Magneto. Does have to do a little bit of the lightning loops, but no problem with that. Zero tries to dash out. Actually manages to get away somehow. Okay. Oh, 
all tags just not to lose zero. I definitely respect it. Oh, unfortunately had too much forward momentum there to be able to get the confirm off of that uh, medium into S. Doom is going to be just skating up, up at the top of the screen right now. Joker trying to find an opportunity to get him down. Oh, got the medium unfly, but wasn't ready for the uh, confirm. Yeah, Remora's Doom movement has been uh, increasingly smooth in the, in the past, like, weeks. I feel like it's just uh, it's been coming along. Not to say they ever had a poor Doom, but still looking uh, crispier as we go. I, I, I love a good crisp on the Doom. Good throw. No way you're going to be able to convert that one, though, way too far away. Yeah, it looks like he already burned the air dash, so he wasn't able to close the gap at all whatsoever. But diving to the ground is to not get you the space you need in order to cover the ground uh, in time off of a super jump air throw that height. There you go. Nice confirm off the drone's jump medium. It would push through in the correct way. is the one with the first zero kill, even though it's felt like Remora Zero has had the pace of the match the entire time. And the Pizza Cutter actually beats out the Heavy Teleport Swords? We are helm breaking. I mean, with the time, you have to go for something. Remora gets the hit. Joker won't be able to hard drive out of this to time out, and that's actually going to be enough damage. Oh my god, the throw plus the one touch is just enough. Remora, he had to turn up to be able to find that touch as time was running out. That was terrifying. Great clutch up from Remora being able to close out the first game. Looks like Joker was going to end up stealing it, but Remora did end up stealing it right back. Sitting on his thoughts. For a second, I thought uh, I, I turned away and I thought I saw a blue background on Doom, but no, we're sticking with this. <laughs> okay, Coming it stops there. Shockwave does mm. actually get him out of the command movement. Look at the damage already. Ended up releasing a Buster there. I wasn't sure if that was intentional or not. Oh, still going for that odd screen tear there, pulling around the dead body of Zero. Even if you can't see it, it is still there, so you can still use it to be able to go for side swap. <laughs> High time into Dimension Slash on the Zero from full screen. Goes into the X Factor. Zero, I, I don't know where Zero went, but uh, it does not matter. Got the X Factor confirm on Magneto. Gonna be bringing Virgil back in with the hidden missile. Level two X Factor is going to be up in just a second. This is the hit missiles confirmed, but we are gonna lock down zero. What a tech from Joker there, mashing on the H. Ramora still gets a clean confirm though. Has to go for the TAC, but this should build him enough meter to go for two supers. One should be enough to kill it, but instead he looks for another TAC. Yeah, that's an awkward situation when you're at that height off of a side TAC where sometimes the photon array won't cut it. Uh, and it looked like Remora wanted to save the bar there. But uh, Joker manages to get the best of it in that situation. Oh, and the level oh. two buster beats Virgil out. Uh, and knowing to dash up for the launcher there too is so sick. So. Uh, Virgil's uh, Dimension Slash is kind of random in terms of the pattern that he ends up doing. Outside of the very beginning, he always goes to a predetermined position that is always... Uh, you, you, you can punish it if you're ready for it and you're not in the situation at the three-quarter screen where the bubble's going to hit, but it does not matter because Joker got a happy birthday. Get the Shockwave and it's going to be massive damage into the roof One almost gets two, leaves zero alive, which is always a dangerous thing here. But Buster able to clean it up. Oh, that's 
not a position that you can actually deal with the dimension slash there. It's going to be about as random as it gets, and that's going to be it for Zero and Sentinel. Magneto has to deal with this level 3 X Factor Dark Angel with no X Factor of his own. Having the left, right, little shimmy on the return trip. Magneto doing a uh, an impression of his best friend as Remora goes up on the match point. Charles is dead. Unlock. They have spoilers. Uh, hey, they, they they already spoiled it in the trailer. <laughs> okay, shockwave push him down. A little too far for the mag blast. Still able to get the back dash here. Good movement, but unfortunately missiles are there to stop. buying time right now trying to get this red health recovered on zero dr doom eats some uh excuse me disruptors in the process oh does it get the oh. confirm <laughs> that was sick oh that was so clean presence of mind there to call the rapid slash assist got to the super jump height while still having access to it i don't remember if he just managed to block at super jump height or just air dashed up but that was great presence of mind, great confirm from Remora. Gets the side switch on the missiles. Unfortunately, does not have the Joey to confirm it ready. But uh, we'll be applying that pressure with missiles. Okay, get the charges on his own. This is closed. Nice escape. Drone save the day. Oh, but they can't save forever. All up to Sentinel. Here comes the hard drive just to get out of the corner. Did not release the Buster to get the punish on Sentinel, knowing that he didn't have an opportunity to get a full confirm. Sentinel is going into X-Factor right now. Remora trying to time this out as much as possible without committing to anything. Gets the Lightning confirm. Perfectly timed. Joker may be going off to the spectator seats for the night. Looking like it might be. Fear Flame is enough to kill. Remora is going to send Joker on his way. Three to one. Remora with a great showing and great stability. As we said before, I mean, definitely agreed. Oh, 100%. All right, looks like we're getting into it. And we have Flocker up against Tony Killa. Rocking the signature teams. And Tony Killa goes ahead and does the Spiral Swords. Already <laughs> clean hit. Work things through. <laughs> Launcher almost gets both good defense there from Flocker, not to overextend. Oh, gets the happy birthday, but unfortunately Hawkeye falls out. Did not have to confirm immediately on deck, so the Spiral Swords did run out of the hit stun. Flocker does get to confirm on Virgil. Tony Killer was not able to clean up the combo. That I'll get real close to my, I'll get real close to my mic and give you the, the ASMR experience if there's ever no game audio again. Don't worry. Maximum gain. I'll cover. I'll cover the, uh, the voice lines. So. Remember the? Did you, did you guys see an Evo when fucking Say Jam and Yipes were doing uh, doing game noises because they couldn't. Hear, oh my god! If you know, you know. That was a crazy. That was one of the funniest blocks of all time. <laughs> oh my god! There you go. Nice pickup. Working through. Flocker should be able to get the kill on Wesker here. Tony Killer kind of on the ropes right now. Walker is going to drop that combo. Maximum Wesker is unleashed, but the reunion is going to beat it out. Wesker is still going to be alive. Level 3 X Factor pop, trade. Recovered enough health to where he won't die. But it's the Spiral Sword, this might be curtains. Triple teleport puts you in a weird spot. Doesn't actually get the hit. Teleports across, and now all of a sudden, Tony, he has enough X Factor. Look at the health on zero. I apologize, Tony Kill. I didn't respect your game. Oh! Oh my god! And you can't stagger! No. no! But Tony drops! Oh, that was the top of your life! What a comeback, man! Tony! Oh. 
so unfortunate. Going back to think about that. You know, no character swap. Oh, I he picked a different assist. I don't know if he meant to. I think those are the same land. assist. Oh, I, th I thought he kicked burning kick. Maybe I just trolled. No, nah, burn kick's blue. Shouts to every nerd that knew that burn kick was blue. Y'all <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Manik, how do you know? How do you know that and you don't know framed it? I'm so upset at you in particular. We'll talk about this. <laughs> well, to, to to be fair. <laughs> no, no, no we'll don't get, argue. We'll, we'll, we'll get back don't back. argue for him. <laughs> Oh my god, get the snap. Oh yes, out. HS, HS, snap. <laughs> what is the high time raw? Uh, Zero still gets back in, still gets the confirm. Tony kind of in trouble right now. Oh, was not ready for that. Okay. Zoop, zoop one more time. Wester had a real shot last game. All you gotta do is block this incoming. You have one more. <gasps> oh wow, I was not ready for that. S to hit and the lightning still came out from the Sagenmu shadow. Oh, he's gonna have to level three here. Not ready for it. Historically, funny enough, Tony has had trouble getting level three to come out. <laughs> that has been like oh, really? a known, a known issue for Tony. He has dropped that level three so many times. You're gonna play Viper and you're gonna have trouble with these uh, motions? Come on now. No, he can do seismos. <laughs> he seismos. <laughs> and he does Wesker teleport. Double OTG. Oh, dropping the size bonuses. Uncharacteristic. Looks like Tony might be a little nervous. Okay, into the biblioteca. Going to read Virgil a book. Send him to bed. This might be the last time we see him for the night. Yeah, a little unfortunate to see it work out that way, especially because you had already invested a bar into the sword. And Viper also not going to get to touch the ground to access really any of her meter. Okay, still picks it back up, even after the weird drop. Oh, it does manage to get the punish on zero. Goes for the meaty and try to go for the command throw. Blocker just, blocker just push blocks in the air and then falls down with the button. And just like that, it looks like, you know, Tony, you gotta let the little guys like Flocker have their shine. 3-0, you know. It allows him to progress further into the bracket. <laughs> All right, so we are going to see LT stick with this Magdoom Phoenix team, but we are seeing him switch to missiles uh, to deal with Zero Dante Virgil. Uh, normally, I take a Rocks approach when, uh, when I'm thinking about Zero May Cry, but uh, I could definitely see the merit with missiles behind Magneto. No, definitely agree. That's one of the nicest things about this team is that it can viably use all three assists. And obviously, all three of Doom's assists are really good. Beam is great as like kind of a counterpunch and initiator. Missiles is just ridiculous in all facets. And uh, rocks are a surprisingly good get off me. Yeah, it's it, it's good get off me and ground control for characters like Viper and uh, Nova, but it's more like niche matchups. But uh, we're definitely not going to have to worry about that as LT just lays on just a thick layer of uh, crouching lights on Dante until he lands on the ground. <laughs> what? Why did LT just only press light? 
Oh, oh tried to go for the snap. Get those missiles away from him. All right, good movement. Gets the hit. Super jump. Fuly. Oh, goodbye, soldier. Oh, my oh no. And the back. Come on, bro. That's crazy. I just like that. LT, game one. Good start for the kid. Manages to get away in time. Sagenmu is gone. Dante is bleeding. Crouching light on crouching light. Try to go for a Tiger Knee. Disruptor, but Zero actually stands beneath that. Going to the Biblioteca, trying to see if we can get some pressure in the quarter. Does manage to get a stray buster on top of Magneto. LT's Magneto will finally go down, but he's already at three bars, so we need to get an immediate hit on Dr. Doom and then get the snap as soon as we can get to a bar of our own. Tight. That HSD. Actually, that's going to be enough. Phoenix should go down here. Yes. Yep, still got the fix. Just like that, all of the Doom LT, definitely one of the best Dooms in the business, but here comes the clones. So Genmu cheats a little bit and recovers almost instantaneously, but we are going to see a Doom time straight out of the X-Factor. Yuli goes down, the X-Factor will run out by the time that Dante comes in, and LT gets the side switch. And you just dashed? Maybe it was expect. Maybe that was, that was either a Hail Mary immediate push block, or Yuli is on one. Oh, and that was actually a cross-up. Came back to the same side. LT is going to be up 2-0 now. And we're going to see some Frodo Baggins. Yep, Frodo Baggins is yeah. back. Shout out to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> LT doing whatever he can to make the uh, the ending screen take as long as possible. Also, fun fact, if you do something that uh, most of the time it will make the entire animation play out regardless. So if you fly right before the timer of losing control of your characters, for some reason, it'll just stay there. I always practice a uh, dash cancel Tiger Knee fly with Doom uh, during those situations, and then I always can't get the unfly, so I look like an asshole every time. <laughs> okay, so a character and a half cooked off a happy birthday. Looks for the snap. Spinning the bar hurts so bad here, but LT not going to matter. Spend some meter to get the hit on zero. Get out of the corner at least. Tiger Knee, or er, sorry, not Tiger Knee Overdrive, just straight up Overdrive on Zero's wake up, ends up getting the hit, and Yoli is about to play loose to normal Phoenix. Not with the bag, dude. Please be careful. Nice block. Was not oh. ready for the Hellbreaker Dimension Slash, or Rapid Slash. And Yuli with the bags in response. I like, see, no, Yuli. Oh my God, Inferno. No. Not like this. Not like this. Literally! Not no! Like this. No! No, no, no! No, dude! Oh, Yuli! No! No! Uh, coming into a, a lot of matches. Yeah, the ideal situation is going to be to try to just kill Zero, snap in Virgil, kill Virgil, save Doom for last, because Hawkeye is always going to be that anti-meta 9-1 uh, matchup that you want to try to capitalize on whenever you can. Uh, but right now we're going to have a Zero off at the moment. We have White, Blue, Zero versus X. Yeah, Blocker always bringing the, uh, always bringing the X to the table. Nice pickup, though. Should be able to draw first blood off of this one. The uh, convenient thing about this matchup is every character dies on every single hit. And that will be pretty much the set. And sometimes that just you lose the game off of one touch. That is just the, the zero way of life, right? Yeah, and it's always so funny to see Flocker just continue to do those Tiger Knee Lightnings, even in the PS4 era, uh, when it's not nearly as necessary anymore, uh, but still just as consistent as he's always been, even back when he won Evo in 2013. Oh, legs checked. Of situation for Remora drops out, so does have a shot with Virgil here. 
Goes into the Biblioteca to try to save face as Virgil starts advancing with his own face. Spiral Swords come out and manage to soak up both Busters. Gets the super jump, but not be able to get the confirm at that situation. Round trip is a little too low. Good recognition to jump back there to get away from the Pizza Cutter. Even with your assist getting hit, Round Trip comes through, spends the extra bar for Blistering Swords. Tries to get cute with the instant overheads, but unfortunately ends up burning two bars. And Virgil's actually in a bad spot right now as he's about to burn all of his resources. Oh, manages to get the Kubo escape on the activation of the Segenmu. So smart, manages to get the air throw from it. Dude, Remora showing it off a little bit. Teleport and gets the, the stand heavy. Right down to the solo Hawkeye, which, oh, manages to get the air throw off of the X Factor activation, taking him out of guard stun. Should be able to burn the second, or sorry, build the second bar here. Oh, no, but the rapid slash. Oh, we lose these. Drop guard. We lose these. So, it is possible here. Goes into the spiral swords, already has the double trigger activated. Gummy medium teleport and gets the clean punish. Raw attack yeah. into Doom here. Oh, goes no, goes into a side TAC. Okay, and it's just able to extend it far enough to be able to get the kill. That was messy, but you know, we take it. And yes, that was the one, but uh, we also work with situational probability here, bringing back the map. Doom is at an advantage <laughs> when he's in Hawkeye. So. You gotta remember, Doom is the best grappler in the game. So he's he's looking to, in a lot of matchups, he's looking to close the distance. All right, and a ton of damage on Remora. Uh, sorry, a ton of damage on Flocker's characters as Remora manages to steal that game away from that momentum changing Kubo escape. Oh, and gets it right by as Flocker manages to get the first clean hit of the second match. Remora might be losing his zero. No, I wouldn't say 9-1. And I that's what started the whole 9-1 discussion is I said, I don't think that matchup is, is as bad as people think it is. And everybody was like, you, you're crazy, bro. And then that, uh, it spawned its own whole set of events. <laughs> so I, I, I could eat like, uh, I could easily go into just like the whole like probability rabbit hole with situational probability and all of that, or conditional probability kind of to explain like where it's not 9-1, but like the average situation will generally end up being where Hawkeye's full screen with five bars and Doom is on the other side of the screen by itself. And so that's where it comes to be a 9-1 matchup. But I digress. Remora is about to take the second game with this Dark Virgil if Flocker is not able to do anything with the Hawkeye. Dude, the second mix-up comes through. Remora, sometimes all you gotta do is draw the sword. Two games! Sometimes that's all that's needed. And like I was saying earlier, a lot of times the first two characters don't, don't end up doing anything. Nice pickup. Oh, can't quite get the knockdown actually. A little weird, but still all right. That wow. dodges the hard tag? <laughs> Today I learned. I had no idea that I was going to low profile that. Hashtag just zero things. I think that mostly uh, was because of Hawkeye's hitbox, but just zero crouching there as, as during the recovery of the L dash is kind of ridiculous. That was incredibly tricky and a good block from Blocker. It's crossed oh, up. That did end up trading. Oh, because the missile, he knew he could snap. Oh, dude, for more a situational marvel right now, it the, the, the fight IQ, bro, is super high right now. Oh, did not get the high time. Unfortunately, it was recovering from the jab, so didn't want to risk it. Gotta make a comeback with his prime point character and he won't get the chance to. As 
Evermore takes a 3 0. Oh. That will do it. Yeah, Remora just looking super clean, getting us into our uh, losers finals now. Find out what a player is made out of. You come off of a set, you have an opportunity to potentially rally for a comeback, and the taunt to lose, the bag to lose, whatever you want to call it, some unfortunate things occur. Can Yuli bounce back? Remora did say this is uh, generally goes about 70 30 in Remora's favor, so. That, uh, that uh, matchup disadvantage on top of recovering from that situation will definitely be a uh, test of courage for Yuli for this set. Pixel Zero is on Yuli's side. They'll have to raw tag into Virgil. They to find it in a situation where uh goes unpunished. Oh my god, the HSH has beaten the hell out of Dr. Doom. He does manage to get away though. With uh, neutral reestablished just a little bit and kind of stabilized, or more a big advantage right now, having uh, Yuli's team out of order and having his own missiles to be able to call through. Virgil gets pushed to the corner now, and this will finally be the first death in 64 seconds still left on the clock. Standing heavy as an anti-air just to barely catch Dante out from uh, from his normal jump attempt to be down to just the zero. I mean, level three X Factor zero. We've seen it from Yuli a couple times. There was a uh, there was a tournament where he was winning almost all of his games with it. So see if we can recreate some of that magic. Genmo activated on one side. Remora actually gets hit out of uh, their own. Super startup and zero will end up going down. Level three X Factor Virgil. I'm not sure which side that hit on. It just hit on the side that hits. Doctor Doom goes down. Virgil comes in. Now manages to block that part. Run down. Ready for the medium Tiger Knee Lightning. That was visually really trippy. Has to go for the X Factor. X Factor is actually going to last longer than the two Segenmus here, but Yuli's going to do their darndest to actually try to run out this timer as much as possible, giving Remora as less of a chance as possible to make this comeback. Oh, that super is going to eat it! We, you know, I'll call that footsies. We, he whiff punishes with it. <laughs> he said that was swords, but we'll take what we can get. Nice whiff punish from Remora, one to zero. <laughs> Buster early on Remora's side. Yuli being a little more conservative with it. Virgil's taking damage. Biblioteca on Yuli's side. Ooh, good dash pass. Jumping heavy. Gets the Buster release. Is able to secure. Early X Factor from Yuli's side. Just trying to get control of the situation. Hopefully, that won't be a situation that bites him in the butt. A little more like it might come up that way. Got the hit on Dr. Doom. Couldn't quite stabilize it and turn into what he was looking for. Locks him down, gets the missiles in the corner with the round trip glitch. No confirm from Virgil's side off the missiles. Okay, yep. The, uh, the non-blockable. <laughs> Unfortunate stuff. So. Real hard to block the whole thing. That's gonna leave Remora just down to the Doctor Doom. Gonna have to make some magic here. He has a foot dive and a dream though. Lanza tries to super. That is not the correct option. Yuli gonna eat that one up. One. More kind of in trouble when it comes to that. I mean, first hit really, generally in all zero mirrors, like first hit decides just about everything. As soon as you fall behind in kind of the running order, it takes a, a big momentum swing to be able to turn it around. Yeah, for sure. 
as you can see here, a clean hit. All that it really takes to be able to run this thing up. Yuli kind of cooking right now as Remora going to lose out and we're going to have so much Sogen move for the mix. Uh, Remora can only up back for so long, manages to get crossed up by the heavy teleport from Yuli. That's going to be some massive damage right now. We'll have to go into one rep of Sugenmu. Oh, never mind. We're snapping into Virgil. I'd love to see it. And the signature cross up lightning, dash button, medium teleport back to the other side with jam session. Definitely the right call to go for that one. Like you said, cooking up the Virgil. Doctor Doom, all the eyes lonesome for a second time. Couldn't quite get the block the first time. Has X Factor for a look. Not even going to get a chance. J uh, Rapid Slash on the same side, I do believe. Is able to get the hit, and that's Yuli again taking the game two straight now. Mora looking uh, like he got maybe a little too complacent there as Yuli is starting to uh, truly get his gloves off. Raw tech's in the... Oh, never mind. I, I, I saw Virgil's katana coming from off screen. I thought it might have been an accidental raw tech. Virgil. Hey, 70 30 starting to look like 9 1, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Good jump out. Recharging the buster. Tries to come down with the heavy. Good up back from Yuli, but eventually those legs are going to get exposed. You got to be careful, just like you were saying, for both players. And just to get confirm, has access to the Ryun Gen assist and to the Jam Session assist. Whoa. I was not expecting Zero to tech out there, but Remora Raw tagged in, actually ended up eating the back of the Lunar Phase. Zero comes back in and then dies. Oh, got the hard kick. <laughs> yeah, whether it's a throw or a hard kick, either way, it works out beautifully. As long as it's not a missile. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the, the ancient proverb, thou shalt not back throw is doom. That kind of looked like a back throw. It just, he just happened to cross it up. Look for the throw, try to go for the OS Stinger. Keeping him locked down though, finally does escape. He's able to get away from the missiles as well, so decent opportunity here as he just jumps away. Great placement from Ramor there. Able to call the uh, the missiles right under Dante each time when he's going for the Killer B. Uh, and manages to get uh, take advantage of it there. Dante goes down. We might see a potential game five here. Yes, we will. Right, so Ramor at least able to stabilize on that one and just you know, chilling for a minute. I was, you know, I was expecting maybe a little something, but you know, maybe he's holding it for the last game. Fight. Way off the start. Throw from Yuli. Missiles actually break up the combo though, so back to neutral. Backs off, tries to appropriately space out the lightning with the buster. Dive kicks down into the Segenu. Yuli manages to get out of the corner. Force Remora in, crosses up. Remora with the bibliotheca of his own. Back to neutral now. No more Sagenmu on either side. Jam session locking down Remora as Yuli brings the Sagenmu back. And now we back the Sagenmu on both sides. Absolute mayhem on both sides of the screen. Remora gets crossed up by the jam session. That's going to be a full confirm from Yuli. hit for Dr. Doom here. I don't see the merit in snapping in Virgil at this point. Oh, so Amora, no, loses out on the clean hit. Gets reset as well. Third opportunity, he gets a hit again. Four chances at life for Amora here. Need to find an opportunity to pop X-Factor here in a second. Gets the swords off. Into double trigger. 
Oh, Yuli. Oh, not like this. He gave him four chances. Yoli, please. Yoli, please. He whiffed Punisher's Hellbreaker with Hellbreaker. <laughs> Even Gaby comes down with his own. Here's the damage. That might, that's not it. Oh, no. You have meter. Please. You have plenty of meter. Oh, if there was ever a time, please hit some loops, brother. Two meters. One more loop is all it takes. There the you go. <laughs> that's what I was waiting for. Remora takes a three to two. <laughs> there you go, gamer. That's my Evo champ. Opportunity for me to agree with Aeonian. It's pretty impressive to play this as your second team and see any kind of success. This is like a specialist type of team. Yeah, I, I mean, you're also, you need to take into account too that LT playing the strange team as well earlier today. So, like, yeah, only rock and tertiary and secondary teams in the tournament. We're gonna see Magneto die right off the rip. This is a good start for Remora at this point. LT was not ready for the mix up, but it didn't look like Remora was uh, ready for it to hit either. Oh, there you go. I mean, Cook up the bird already. No chance to even get a, like, any kind of action. All of the Doom. And you know it's a good cross-up when they take a full step while walking into it. <laughs> so just like that, it will cook up the first game or more in a hurry. It's able to take it. And LT can stick with it. Right now, just trying to play it slow. Don't want to overextend. Trying to get Remora to spend something, but a good down back there from LT. Dash down to try and get a weird confirm, but wasn't quite able to find anything. As we get the throw. Throwing him out of the box dash there. Sorry, not box dash. Command dash there. Zero is going to be hurting here. Don't know if he's going to burn the meter for it. Yeah, going to go down on the TAC. Definitely got this going to medium medium plasma beam. Jad confirmed, yep. There you go with the kill on zero. Five bars already built up. Plenty of time to get the tag. It's like that. I mean, neutral continues. Aurora. Trying to close the distance without being too overly aggressive. It's always tough to approach as Doom against a character who has a quick projectile like EM Disruptor. It is such a throw, it's such a nuisance when you're a character that can't blink on the ground. For sure. Always being uh, forced to commit to the air some, in one way or another. Yeah. It's land though. Taking a grip of chip every single time one little projectile connects. It guarantees a beam, it guarantees a second projectile. And look at that, vamps a bar out of it as well. LT actually getting hit on the way down, so was able to ground tech and go back to full screen. We'll be able to confirm off of that at that height, even with the medium, or excuse me, the heavy teleport. Mm, almost was there for Helmbreaker. In the second interaction, missiles hit on the way up, and that turns into a clean hit there. 26 seconds left on the clock. And Remora doesn't have very much meter. Puts himself down to just a half a bar. I have to find an opportunity possibly to snap in Phoenix and get an early Dark Phoenix pop or go for X Factor TAC. Mm, and missiles just completely ill-timed not able to really save him from anything full confirm from lt gets the tac as well just because no 
whenever suspects the down TA, or the double down TAC when the Phoenix player's already staring at five bars. Oh, but this could be huge. Even there's only five seconds left. Virgil is absolutely the character that's needed to be able to potentially make this comeback. Yeah, because he is gaining health back with the regen, but no, with Doom not dying, that is certainly gonna- oh! No! Remora did have a higher percentage! So it is total percentage of your characters that are left alive. Remora did do enough damage. I was thinking LT was still gonna have it, but no. You can never tell when there's when there's amount of red health on uh, one character's health bar. It's it's so deceiving just because it, you know, it plays mind tricks where you can never really tell what the percentage is. But clearly there was more than a character's worth of health. Uh, they are on more aside from that double trigger health recovery. <laughs> Remora wins that, comes to chat immediately and says, Jason game dev versus not enough damage CEO 2021. Shut up, bro. <laughs> Get back in the game. <laughs> oh my god. Good ball. <laughs> Damn, Milky. Okay. Shoot your shot with it. Milky says, don't go Nova. <laughs> but he said it a little <laughs> less politely. <laughs> Right, rocking same teams. There's Tech at the start. Eyeglass controlling space as they do. Those better projectiles to be able to do that. Uh, that 45 is such an awkward angle to attack, especially when you're paired with like in the conversation for the most mobile character in the game. I, I, I think Magneto is decisively the most mobile character in the game. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think there's like a close second. It's super fair. Well, I, I think there's Phoenix is a maybe trick. The movement continues. Definitely doing well. Gaining bar. I mean, the mission is slowly getting accomplished here. As we're on beam now, I believe was the, uh, was the change. I believe he was rocking beam previously. Oh, he was? Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he, he ran I'm missiles sure. versus uh, Yuli. Yeah, Jumped up to look for the throw, it looks like. Or not quite there. And she snipe Magneto off screen. Dr. Doom takes a lot of damage as well. Was not able to reach with that heavy lightning. It's just a hair away from being able to reach at that range from full screen. Yeah, it's gotten himself to four bars and a little bit of change here. Remora, if Remora gets the hit and X Factors, I think you have time to kill everything here. What about gaming with the raid? Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good stream. Yeah, no time to kill now. I don't think even with X Factor. Yeah, and the meter gets built on the block, uh, block attack. So Phoenix is now officially at five. Virgil's gonna have to find an opportunity to get sword set up, but he's not gonna get the chance to because I can easily see LT popping X Factor here. Hey, listen, I was wondering why it looked so natural for him to be playing Phoenix like this. She just has no crouch media. I respect that. Oh, it all makes right. sense now. Let's block. He's also got high speed tackle in a way. <laughs> oh, trades actually had committed again. And now let's see how we go for the pop. Gets the hit. Lightning is out. And the missiles are down. He's to pop the wall and so again, it was actually huge. These fireballs though, so damn durable. Nice. <laughs> Rises up, knew the missiles were connecting and knew he had time to get it. Remora takes the first set. And gets the reset here. LT, you gonna stick it out or are you gonna, you know, switch up? Main menu to reset the score. And we are seeing the Nova come out. There you go. Alright, Damn, so just gonna try and uh, hit him with the final boss. So you winning set one is just, you know, it's the transition phase two. He said, this isn't even my final point. <laughs> there you go, start, backs it off. That was a hell of a gut punch. 
Almost gets the confirm there. Gets good damage off the rocket punch though. Good compromise for uh, LT side. Not only getting the damage on zero, but at least creating the distance so that zero won't get an advantage off of those missiles when he's teched out. Oh, close the distance a little bit, but with even with Nova on the team, not looking better on the point matchup here. This is usually the deciding factor of the team for LT, not to say that Nova isn't cracked, but this character is where he makes his money. Look at that, already gets the arm and is able to get away. And it's just to get the hit on the Tiger Knee Grapple, but excuse me, uh, was not able to get the confirm. And ends up seeing the zip into the real end punch. Oh. I don't even know. <laughs> I think that was just a zero thing. Oh, yep. the zip beats him out of connection side. Grapple working out perfectly. TC is blocked though. Rapid class not quite there. Almost. He went for the command though. Tried to get Drawbreaker. Time has run out. Remora gets clean, confirmed. Knew the missiles were coming. Drops though, and hard kick actually doesn't come out in time. Swords gets the punish. Yeah, fortunately, uh, the hard kick only comes out fast enough there if it's a snapback. Uh, but hard kick itself does take a few more frames regularly to get up there to be in contact with Virgil when the spiral swords are active. A game to Remora on the reset now. LT straight back in, he says. So again, news. Stay safe. Going to be some damage on Dr. Doom. Nova trying to time out this again at the moment. Perfectly executed by LT. Okay, good block on the first, you know, kind of cycle of uh, things that happens there. But in the end, LT gets the better of it. And we're going to get our first real clean hit for the Nova team here. Rude. Every time it's just rude whenever I see that mixed up. <laughs> okay. Do you consider a snap here is going to be the question. The answer is going to be no. Straight into the kill. Straight into the Spencer. Yeah, at this point, killing here will allow Spencer to, you know, be in the prime situation to be able to get the incoming setup that Virgil has to deal with. And you have to deal with 50-50 because Virgil has no way out of it. That and Virgil not having an escape also leads him into being susceptible to these command throw setups that LT has pretty much uh, been pushing the meta. Obviously, he's not the, the original innovator, but he has been pushing the meta on using this command throw from Spencer in a crazy way. For sure. Now we're getting all day to be able to confirm off of those air throws. Raw tag into the Doom. Maximum damage. Extremely meteor fit, excuse me, meter efficient. Going into the photon array, into the bionic maneuvers, and we're primed and ready. I don't know. I, I would imagine we see a raw tag here in Nova. Nope. Just rock. Like the jabs, drags him down to the ground. Good block on the medium as well. <laughs> nice air throw from Remora. Right, and this puts you in prime position now. Spencer dies. Maybe Spear Flame into the Spiral Swords, trying to set things up. LT ends up eating it. I believe that was just to try to prevent Remora from getting any advantage running out of that X Factor. Both on Array comes down. And we're not going to DHC into high speed tackle, but we are going to get the cross under. Had confidence in the mix there. Plus, still had X Factor, so I understand not wanting to spend your resources like that. But that's going to leave Nova in. 
He's going to exit just for pressure. And look at the javelin for the tempo. Up that chip damage. Here comes the high speed tackle. Still in the corner, so won't have to worry about getting crossed up in that situation. Amora is already down to 50% life, though. Uh, a bar and a half able to jump over still doing what you can and God damn the human rocket punch finds its mark again I believe that was uh UCD coming through ten dollars and eighty six cents makes it one 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 said I'm tired of looking at the extra change I appreciate you thank you very much Remora, Remora said in chat, be right back taking a dab. So, <laughs> a little break just for a moment for himself. I mean, this is the Remora classic for a long time. The second it's game point for the opponent, Remora takes a, uh, takes a, takes a moment for himself. That's the Remora classic. Ice in the kicker. Ah. He's icing himself, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, he's back, he's back. <laughs> Alright, so right off, doing a good job. Trying to contest these on the ground. LT looking comfortable. And the coach, Steve. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, Hot and Geki comes out, has some force to go to the Sogenmu to stay safe. Uh, but if you notice, Remora was actually holding on to his Buster there after he calls missiles because he noticed that LT was reacting to the the Buster release with the high speed tackle to get, try to get a happy birthday punish, forcing him into the Sogenmu. Oh, it staggers the Jets so that he can get the throw reset through the missiles. Serious with this guy. That was so sick. We're gonna do a fear flame. Won't even need the second bar. Raw tags back in Innova. Ideal situation. Garvin mentioned full setup. And the pressure is on. Javelin makes an automatic at that point. Gets the tag into Doom for the better damage. Right into the bionic maneuvers. We are now in the end game at this point. See if Virgil can recover from this. As we get the Tiger Knee grapple, zip, zip, 80k. This would have to be a crazy one for him. The jab oh no! Step backwards, the shimmy, the punish counter. Oh no, and he exits out immediately. Three games to one. You love to see it, bro.